Okay, welcome back to Radical Red. Um, so, just beat the rival, Smelly, and now I made a new team because my rain team is now over. I added Mega Toxtricity because, you know, it's funny, I want to use it. Its ability, is, while it's Mega, is still Punk Rock, so it's not that different, but it's actually really fast. It has like 111 speed, and this should do a lot of damage with Overdrive and Boom Burst. I wish there was a sound poison move. Well, there actually is. It's called Belch, but you literally can't use Belch if you're Mega, because Belch requires you to eat a berry first, and it's not very consistent. But either way, I think this should be a pretty good move set. I could probably run Snarl over Volt Switch, but I don't think Snarl is going to do that much damage, and Volt Switch has way more utility. Other than that, I just have a bunch of filler members. I decided to keep Kinyang on the team because, you know, Swapper is actually pretty good, and it can be my Rock Setter. That's its main purpose, to be honest. And then I also brought Cobalions, who instead of being my Rock Setter, is now Assault Vest, just with a bunch of cutting moves for damage. And then I brought Ambipom, who is Technician and not Skill Link, which might come back to bite me. <laughs> it might, it might just a little bit, but it's fine. You know, I'll probably hit enough time for this to survive. We basically have two Ambipoms, because I also have Minchino, who does the exact same thing. So instead of making this the exact same as the Chinchino that I have, I decided to make a Technician instead of Skill Link, like Chinchino. But that might come back to kill it, but it'll be fine. <laughs> and then I have Superior, who has actually okay coverage now that I have Hidden Power and Flash. I was kind of struggling to think of which Hidden Power to bring, because no matter what, there's something that counters me. Right now, since I brought Hidden Power Ground, I can't really hit Grass types. I might switch his Hidden Power later, but... I can't hit grass types at all, but if I brought hidden power fire, I couldn't hit fire types. Uh, this lets me hit fire types and poison types, so that's the main reason I brought hidden power ground instead of hidden power fire. Either way, I'm left open in some way, so there wasn't really a great solution. It's life orb, so I also have giga drain to heal some of the health back. That's pretty much it. There's, that's the problem with superior. I mean, it's better in this than it is normally, but it has no coverage, so no matter what you do, you're going to be walled by something, so... I just kind of had to make the choice. I was thinking of bringing Hidden Power Rock, um, but Hidden Power Ground also beats Poison types, which is which is why I brought it, because I didn't want to be walled by like a, an Alolan Muck or something. I think that's pretty much it. Well, time to head into Victory Road. This scares me a little bit. I think I'm probably going to end up having to fight the rival. This is as far as I've been in Radical Red, so everything else going forward is blind. So I have no idea what the Elite Four is like, because last time I lost versus Claire. So this is all new territory for me. And I, f I have a feeling that I'm going to have to fight the other rival, uh, Brendan, or maybe even May. I forgot May is also in the p picture now. So I'm a little bit scared that I might have to fight one of them before we get to Victory Road. I mean, yeah, before we get to Victory Road. But uh, we'll see, you know. I can also get an encounter here. Actually, let me go ahead and check. Because I might get a Surf Encounter, but I might not want a Surf Encounter. Yeah, I have a billion Water Types. Uh, Goldeen is dupes, so my only encounter here would be uh, Psyduck. So I think it's just best if I wait and... Actually, Poly... Politoad... Or not Politoad. Poliwagon, Poly... Wagon, poly uh... Whirl would not be dupes because I could make them into Polyrath, but honestly, I don't want another water type, so I'm just gonna turn on my infinite repel. Oh, whoops. And get a grass encounter, so I think that makes way more sense. Alright, I just went back because I wanted to change some stuff. I thought about my team a little bit more, and I was like, eh. I, I, did, I wasn't feeling too confident. I also forgot to change this thing's ability back to static because it was pressure before, and static is, I think, more consistent for what I want. I'm not really looking to PP stall with this team. I also... Oh, I gave this Dragon Pulse over Giga Drain, and I changed his Hidden Power to Ice. Uh, because I felt like I, could, I need more coverage. Like, one of the guys I feel like I'm gonna fight is Brendan, and I didn't feel like any of my team could deal with Mega Sceptile. So I decided to just give this Hidden Power Ice, and hopefully that'll work out. I think that's it. I also just have Dragon Pulse to get, instead of Giga Drain, which maybe is a bad idea, but because I gave it Hidden Power Ice, I was like, eh, maybe I should have a little more coverage just in case, because I'm scared. <laughs> and Superior not having coverage is not great. Well, anyway, let me get my Grass Encounter here. That's dupes. Go away. Sick! 
semi sair. All right. I mean, that's fine actually. I don't. I don't mind. It's the, it's basically the same as semi poor, except it's a fire type. So, like, it'll it has special gorilla tactics. No, God, don't do that, dude. It has special gorilla tactics. So, um, it's it's actually not a bad ability at all. Wow, an orange bear. Thank you. And here we go, Victory Road. I can get another encounter in here too. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for healing me the first time. <laughs> well. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I, I was thinking it was going to be at the end of Victory Road, but it looks like it's now. Oh, uh, I wish I... Oh, God, I, I should have prepared what I was leading with. I didn't think I'd be fighting him right now. Oh, well. I, I think I'm leading with Cobalion. I can destroy my archer and ran away in shame. You know, recently, I don't know, I'm not a bad trainer by any means. I could snag gym badges, but I always wanted to be an incredible trainer like my dad. And I really thought as long as I put in the effort and work, I could be one of the best. But I could never put a dent in you. Even trainers like Archer have shown me how far the gap between us has become. It's becoming clear to me that I'm just not very strong, let alone talented. Is that what I'm missing? An innate trait that some are just gifted with? Uh, I don't care, we're battling. I know. I won't take no for an answer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I wish you did, though. It's a lot more convenient for me. Deox! Bro, he was just complaining about how weak he was? Oh my god. Well, this is not great. I mean, I am a salt vest, but... Actually, no, that doesn't matter. It'll probably have superpower. This is Deox's attack? Yeah. Let me go ahead and switch. I could easily kill this with x Scissor, but that's only if I survive a superpower. So he just psychics or superpowers? I think... I think I go into Zapdos no matter what, right? It's either that or Swampert could live, but I think if he superpowers, I can go into Zapdos and hope he gets paralyzed. Please don't Psychic. Okay, I was right, good. Okay. So his defense is lowered. It's Deoxys attack, so it already has like 20 defense. I actually should U-turn here and get a free switch. Ice Beam? Please don't kill me. I really would not be happy. <laughs> don't do it. Oh, thank god. Okay. Okay, it's fine. This should kill. Unless it's sashed. Great. Well, this is this is still okay, I think. Uh, yeah, this, this worked out. I can still just fake out or whatever I have. Quick attack, who cares? Alright, that's fine. Well, I mean, at least I didn't die. Rachi. Is it like... It's probably Iron Head, Zen Head, but... I don't know what else Jirachi gets. Doom Desire? I don't know what Jirachi uses. I, that's all I know, because it, it usually is just a flinch bot. Either Iron Heads or Zen Headbutts. I think I just go into Kinyang. This guy has a Jirachi and a Deoxys and he's complaining about being weak? Was he mocking me? What an actual asshole. <laughs> what a dickhead. God. Okay, well, that Iron Head didn't do that much, so I don't think it's like banded. Does this have levitate? No, it's the Ring Grace. I think I, I think I just Stealth Rock, because it shouldn't be able to do that much damage to me. I guess I, I should probably should have Earthquake, because he could endlessly flinch me, but I guess he swapped into Zapdos, so this worked out. Do I swap out? I don't think Zapdos can kill me. It'll probably have, like, Bulk Up and Thunderous Kick. And Brave Bird, and then some fourth move. Just Roost, right? If he bulk ups, I think it's just best to switch. I could liquidation. But if I switch, what do I go into? My Zapdos? Is my Zapdos faster? Are they the same speed? Because mine's timid. Zap. Dose. They are the same speed, but I'm one level higher. He's 81. So I would be faster. <laughs> this sounds like a bad idea. I think it's better if I just go into this. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's U-turn into... You don't want enough grass move, right? No, you won't. Okay. Let me flip turn into, um... Megatoxtricity. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Ow! Let's relax! That was a lot of damage! 
Okay, I, I probably could have just killed it with liquidation, but whatever, it's fine. This is this is all right. Ow, huh? <laughs> you better not be scarfed or some nonsense. I'm just gonna boom burst because it doesn't matter. It'll die no matter what, and I don't want him to switch it to a ground type like that. Okay. Well, I I kind of wish I went for overdrive now. Why would he swap into something? I guess he uh, he expected a sludge bomb. Why would he expect a sludge bomb? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Why would he go into this? Uh, it, I think this is probably scarfed. Cause he swapped out immediately on. Um, it's probably yeah. It's probably cringe like scarfed Zen head button and uh, iron head. So I, I'm just gonna switch. I could probably just go straight back into Kinyang and live, but I... Oh god, this isn't really great. Oh no, he's gonna Zen Headbutt. I, I have to go into... something else. I don't know if he Scarfed or not, that's just an assumption. Let me calculate how much damage, uh, Cobalion takes from Zen Headbutt. But even if it doesn't die, like... It's- if it's scarfed, I'm just gonna get endlessly flinched. Which would be horrible. But, I don't think there's anything else I can do. I just wanna see how much damage it does. Yeah, I just can't risk Toxtricity if it is scarfed. So I'm just gonna go into Cobalion. It should take an okay amount of damage. As in, I'll be alright. Now I just have to hope that I don't get flinched forever. <laughs> which is a very real danger. And yeah, it is Scarf, because otherwise I would be faster. I'm jolly. Oh no. Don't do this, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it lived. Okay, we just need two. Unless I want to stack something else. Do I want to keep Cobalion? Oh, actually, no, this is fine. Let's just swap, because I, I can swap without sacking it, and I can just quick attack. This is fine. I, you won't die. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. See? Fine. That's way better than the other plan I had in my head. <laughs> There's Sceptile. I think I just hard switch into Superior. I guess I could go into this. No, no, no. It's faster than me. And last time I had Bulldoze, right? Because it's Technician, so it's, it probably has, like, Bulldoze. I think I just go into Superior and Hidden Power Ice. Anything else doesn't sound, uh, safe. If Zapdos was healthy, this would be a lot better, but... Okay, best case scenario. Just two hits, please. Ah, uh, the crit. Okay, I'm not liking that you did that much damage to me, because now I just die. <laughs> Why did you- Okay, thank god, he's stupid! Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if he just went for, like, scale shot, if he has that, I would have been dead, but luckily the AI is really greedy. Why? Why do you do no damage? Why do you Earthquake? Well, I guess I'm dead to Earthquake, too. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, this is still okay, because I, I have Quick Attack, so, honestly, this, this is, this is fine-ish. Ambipom's getting a lot of work in. I'm glad I gave this quick attack, because I was thinking of just greeting and going forward, attack, banded. Uh, that's why I'm technician, not skill link, so I could use quick attack. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I lost superior, but honestly, you know. You know. Landorus. I'm faster than Landorus, I think. I might be lying. Uh, is it- it's 101 speed? <laughs> Oh, I'm faster. Okay. Whew. We're good. I did get intimidated, but it, it, it doesn't matter. Why? <gasps> Great. <laughs> Great. That's, that's, that's fine. You know, no big deal there. Just, just a little 90% accuracy. Just, just a little bit of fun, you know? Sometimes you gotta joke around with some pals. Holy fuck, man. Why? <laughs> Why? 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 It was so easy. It was so easy. 
Oh, God. Okay. Well, uh, now I have to lose a whole bunch more Pokemon. I don't even do any damage with this. Come on, dude. How could I miss? Now I lose like four Pokemon. Actually, Boomer should kill from here. Just two. But I shouldn't have lost any. God, what nonsense. I hate accuracy. <laughs> So annoying. That's so annoying. God, that's so dumb. Please don't let this be over because of that. Okay, I can kill you. Uh, no reason to do anything else, right? Yeah, boom burst is 100 accuracy. God, that sucks. Something I can kill, please. Untail. Perfect. This might be Scarfed, but I don't think that matters. Intimidate definitely doesn't matter. What? This guy has Galarian Zapdos, Jirachi, and Deoxys, and he's complaining about being weak? Maybe if he got rid of this Huntail. What is this Overdrive animation? That was crazy. <laughs> that looked like a Z-move. Jesus Christ. What an annoying battle. That's so annoying. Oh well. So first, Sceptile lived on 1 HP from Hidden Power Eyes, then I miss... <sighs> miss Triple Axel. Okay, at least I'm alive, it's fine. I know I shouldn't have shot for the stars, but the bottom line is I have a lot to learn. I'll be returning to Ho and trade with my dad. Maybe I'll come back. Or you can come visit. I am not visiting you, fuck you. <laughs> wow, adding insult to injury, you could have given me something useful. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Get out of here. Okay, well, I, I think that's enough for now. Oh, actually, I, maybe I should, uh... Actually, no, I, I'm just gonna leave. I was gonna go get my encounter, but just in case, like, May shows up or some crazy nonsense, I'm just gonna play it safe and go hide and fix my team. I mean, I have another Ambipom, like, in the back, so it's, it's not a big deal. Although I also lost Cobalion. Cobalion was actually doing pretty good. You're dead. You're dead. And you're dead. Yeah, that sucks, but at least Zapdos is alive. Okay, well... I guess I will fix my team and head into Victory Road. Hopefully, I don't have another rival battle and I can just prepare for the Elite Four. But either way, I'm going to prepare a non-Elite Four team just in case. I I probably should take Zapdos off, actually. Because I want to use Zapdos for the Elite Four. It's just Zapdos is so good, that's why I keep wanting to use it. I'll probably take Zapdos off. So I can think of a team... Because, hold on, what who do I want to use for the Elite Four? Let me, let me cement that. So first off, it's definitely Slowbro. Mega Slowbro's coming. That's not a question. I'm also going to bring Dragapult, I think. As well as Keldeo. I think maybe Rabombi's coming, if I can get Sticky Web on it. This also has a Mega, and it's a Steel type. So I, I can, like, alternate between... Uh, the problem with doing that, like, alternating between them, is I when I want to switch to use Slowbro, I usually swap its abilities when I go between Mega Slowbro and non-Mega Slowbro, which I won't be able to do in the Elite Four, but I, I, don't, I think it's probably fine. And then I think either... No, I already have a Water type. I think I need a little more coverage. Probably this. I already have a fighting type, but it's still a maybe. I guess I could... Nah, not you. Oh, that's, that's a maybe. I do need a flying type. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Zapdos is coming. So it's gonna be... I'll just put everything I want and then I'll think about it. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and you. Not you. You. Yeah, these are just the options I'm mainly gonna be considering. Yeah, and you're going to come off the team for now, because I am going to need you. 
I guess, you know, let's put Greninja there too. Because Greninja is, is definitely a considerable, if I'm just putting everything I'm considering to bring. Cloyster's good, but I, I feel like when I... I don't like having to bring it. It's kind of weird to work around. If I'm not just going to set up with it, which I'm usually not. Uh, yeah, you can come as well. Cause I can probably use Blaziken in its non-mega form if I'm really having to. I think that's it. I'm not gonna bring Mega Aerodactyl, cause I'm already bringing Mega Slowbro, and I don't think Aerodactyl's as good in like its regular form to be using it without Mega. If I'm gonna be using Mega Slowbro, right? Like I think the the other thing. Like, I think the thing with Mega Duraludon is I think Mega Duraludon is better on its own, and then I can also use Slowbro. But, like, if I use this, I don't think this is okay on its own without Mega Evolving it. I mean, it's good, but it's not as... it's not what I'm looking for. So, yeah, I think that's fine. I think this is fine. Alright, I'll just make my team for next time for Victory Road, and then prepare for the Pokemon League. Bye.